In Crawfordsville, the fire department is stepping up to fight the opioid epidemic via its newly formed quick response team. The idea is that, as first responders, fire department paramedics are uniquely positioned to help opioid sufferers get into treatment. What we realize is we're the ones primarily in our county to get the 911 call. So we see these folks at the time of the incident and decided that was the time to put our QRT paramedics into action and begin that treatment. Uh, instantly, we start to build rapport with these folks on so the case of an overdose. From the time they wake up, they see our QRT paramedics there. I think it helps with, um, if we're on scene with them, they see us as being more or less a helpful person. You know, we're not law enforcement, we're not there to get them in trouble, we're there to help them. So I think that really connects with the patient sometimes. And what they do is when they get on scene, they assist the EMS crews or the medic crews, providing patient care and begin to build that rapport. And then officers offer services if need be. Uh, if we do have an overdose, they go to the hospital. We ensure that continue to care from the time they overdose until the time they're discharged from the hospital. We either meet them on scene or go to the hospital. And we will go into the patient's room and, dis and discuss what our services are here at the fire department. And what we will do is that if they are wanting inpatient or outpatient services, we will navigate them through to, to make sure that they get the correct care that they need to help with their addiction. Once those initial steps have been taken, the paramedics often hand cases off to peer recovery coaches from a partner organization. Um, QRT will reach out to us and then we will meet them um, typically at the fire department or um, on some cases in the hospital. Um, and then we're going to assess them and um, their need, what they're looking for, if they're needing um, inpatient, detox, if they're looking for services as far as outpatient goes, we can get them um, basically facilitated in anything that they need. Um, the grant that we're working on also provides transportation, pays for services, helps them if they're interested in medication-assisted treatment. Um, and basically, we're just trying to break down barriers that can prevent people from getting into treatment hands-on. I think it's really important for the community to see that the fire department is kind of a safe haven for the people that are fighting addiction out there. Um, we more or less open our doors to have them come in to, if they do need help 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that there's someone here that can help them navigate into services.